This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video, I'll explain the potential causes of audio dropouts during video editing and provide some ideas on where to look for a fix. Pat asks, I'm getting audio dropout with an older iMac and Mac OS. How do I fix this? I was thinking about this and realized that audio dropout can be caused by a variety of factors. At first, it could be bad source monitor or bad mic connections. Poor cables could all cause audio dropout. Bad render files are generally the most common cause of dropout in post-production. And storage that's too slow to support the media that you're editing is another potential cause. So if you want to fix audio dropout, first listen to your source audio and make sure that it sounds okay. It could be that the actual source is the problem. Then delete all your render files and re-render because render files do have hiccups and re-rendering just forces it to go back and recalculate everything again. That's always a good fix for many video and audio problems during editing. At a minimum, use storage capable of delivering data at least at 100 megabytes a second. 100 megabytes a second is the, is the minimum amount needed for HD or 4K editing. Not enough for multicam and not enough for 12K. In fact, if you want to go to really large frame sizes, a 400 megabyte a second RAID or SSD is sufficient for all single camera editing up to 12K. Also, you want to copy the files to your internal drive, relink and re-render, because sometimes your external drive is too slow, and a quick test is to copy the files to the internal drive. Every Mac made from the last five years on has internal storage, which is faster than Thunderbolt. The problem is Apple charges so much, we never buy very much, which is why Thunderbolt connected storage is so important. What we found the problem in Pat's case was that he was using a USB-A drive for his storage, and it was too slow. As soon as he took that drive out of the circuit, moved the media over to a faster drive, the dropout problems went away. So first, look at render files. Second, check the source. Third, look at the speed of your storage to solve audio or video dropout problems. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 361. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.